is so stupid it's positively brilliant. Like what did Jay-Z say if we're going to quote Jay-Z? Uh, no such thing as an ugly billionaire. I'm cute. Yeah, but you can easy to say that when you got Beyonce on you. I think that's the point he's making. It's like, yo, when you're a billionaire, you could even get Beyonce and look like me. Jay- mm. Jay-Z's voice still hasn't dropped. Jay- no, it hasn't. You're right. You know what I mean? Like, Jay-Z yeah, 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 yeah. is... is Maybe the, he's the goat. I took that line as a line about uh, self worth, though. Like, like, like validating yourself. Like, I think that's the problem. Even when we talk about with Aisha Curry and Steph Curry. Oh, we're gonna get into that. Deep. I think I, I, now's a great time. I think Aisha, you know, you're looking for validation. First of all, that's the problem with this era we live in. Period. Everybody wants validation, mm-hmm. and they invest in the opinions of others way too motherfucking much. First of all, Aisha Curry, you mm-hmm. will never get the attention of Steph Curry. You know why? Because you didn't win three championships in the last four years. <laughs> You're not on TV every day, balling the fuck out. You haven't won no MVP trophies. You don't have endorsement deals. You're not on commercials all the time. Steph Curry is a super star who we're not appreciating because mm-hmm. we don't appreciate that kind of shit in this era. No disrespect respect to Aisha Curry. She's just not famous. So these women that are rushing to you, the rushing to want to talk to Steph and kick it with right. Steph, they're not doing that shit because they think, oh, he's going to be my man. I'm going to give him some pussy. He's doing that shit simply because he's famous. And right. that's what people are drawn towards in this era. Well, he's great. That's what I was saying. But he's also famous. There's plenty of great people. Nobody give a fuck about Tim Duncan, bro. No, people <laughs> get, you don't think Tim Duncan could get pussy? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Nah, this guy's crazy, bro. yo. This guy's crazy, man. Tell us, you hush. You want to jump in? And it's only twelve no, minutes. T- come and tell me the point, then. What's the point? Well, come we could ask a woman come what they're yeah, attracted what's the to. Come here. What's the point, Taylor? Tell me what the point is, Taylor. You didn't see the whole interview, did you? What what interview? With Aisha? Yeah. Did yes, I did. I watched interview? it. What's, what's, I saw the whole so what's thing. The point? I love She's Red so, Table Talk. <laughs> why can't get so upset? I'm just listening. Because. <laughs> You're yeah, yeah, yeah. missing the Hold point. Of, I got you. I got you. I got you. Of like, she's not saying because he's famous and everything <laughs> else like that. It's just as a. <laughs> just, just just as a, um, just as a no, woman, no. and just as a, what is going on right now? Go ahead, no, let, please. Let no, that, I'm just fake right. letting them in. What? So he just keeps pulling As them. a woman, um, and just know, as any regular human, they want like, regardless if you have a mate and stuff like that, just to be. Seen as pretty and stuff Taylor, like that. That's she isn't foolish logic, and I'm gonna tell you why. She, but that's what she's saying. I think what though. you're trying to say is women are never happy. Exactly. That's insecurity. They never happy. That's you're insecurity. never gonna be happy. I Aisha say Curry. That. Here, listen, what, what Charlamagne said is 100 percent right. Right. I get what y'all are saying, but she has a uh, you know she is at what should be the ideal situation. She is a man who yeah. is God fearing, mm-hmm. loving of her, loving of the family, is great at what he does. You can see the love in Steph's eyes her. when he's constantly. He, he, you can see it like. The way they dance all off rhythm and yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? Real they, talk, you for see real. it. They listen to Christian rap together. I mean, can not, you get any not, more perfect? But think about it, like what Emmy said earlier. Girls call you for whatever reason handsome all the time. So what? And I don't care. There's Shut no the sp- hell up. You be like, you like, I mean, you know, um, Michelle Obama called me handsome. I'm not seeking like, you be, that though. You it's know why not I'm not about seeking, seeking that? Because my though. wife loves me. She's not trying to seek it either, though. But yeah, it's but nice it's, to you don't you don't seek it because I don't think you identify identi- identify as handsome. <laughs> Does that make sense? And I'm not trying to knock you. I'm, I'm just trying you. to say it's like it doesn't like it. I don't value that in the least. And that's why if somebody says, "Yo, your stand up is great." I'm like, "Yo, I appreciate that." That's a compliment yes. I care about. You know what I mean? If someone was, was like, "Yo, you're an amazing radio host. You're an amazing, you know, interviewer or whatever." That's a compliment that you fucking care about because you identify. It. But if someone's like, "Charlamagne, you're beautiful," you're like, "Hi," right, like, and that's why, why I'm taking that. and that's why I'm taking that out of the equation with Aisha because Aisha is is, is she's actually being she's beautiful. She's looking at the surface of this whole thing. If she thinks that people are sweating Steph Curry because he's a handsome motherfucker, let Steph Curry be that same beige nigga working at UPS. Oh, and then there's and nothing. Nobody would give a shit. Fuck out of here. It's the fact that he's famous. I mean, that too. It's, I understand it's, that. He's famous. And he's, he's literally one of the greatest basketball players to ever play, and then she's a kind of good cook. That's literally, <laughs> that's literally what you're comparing. I can't even say like, she's kind of good because I've never tasted the food. Me neither. <laughs> the food looks good on YouTube, okay. right? And it's like, but you could tell she wants to shine. She just got to accept her position. She got to accept her role. You get to be married to Steph Curry. You get to have kids with Steph Curry. If that's not enough, it's never going to be enough. No, and, I get what you're saying. I'm not saying I disagree. Can you imagine being a man? And I imagine me, I'm, I tell my wife every day, baby, I love you. You're the most beautiful woman in the world, yada, yada, yada. And she's like, I ain't getting yeah, sexually harassed that, on the yeah, street enough, though. That, she's like, though. yeah, that's cool, but y'all need another motherfucker to tell me. Yo, that. you want to know what, you know what, you want to know the problem? <laughs> this is really what? a problem, is we started 
Instagram ruined the whole thing for women. Social media, period. So check yeah. it. I got it. Ready? Instagram, we started liking your pictures on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So then immediately after you started getting those likes, you didn't want street harassment. Back in the day, the likes <coughs> used to be street harassment. It used to be, you no look good, boo. Likes, and you're I like, that's annoying. You. But a little no part of you is like. still like street harassment. I don't. Back in the day, now you don't need it because you go on your Instagram and you can feel desired. But back in the day, well, there was no Instagram. So you needed to walk by a construction site and be like, all right, this outfit does look good. That's not true. Yeah, I am feeling myself. Do I do look good and plump. Yeah. Listen, what, what Andrew, what that's Andrew, what I'm saying. Is so now the game is fucked up. Now in Aisha Curry, she realizes the frivolousness of those likes, right? And she just wants to feel desired. This is what every girl that ends up cheating on her husband does. I just want to feel desired. I just want to feel love. He's in the middle of a championship run. Bro. These girls are crazy. What Andrew is saying. These girls are crazy. What Andrew, I mean, I, what I, Andrew, I just realized. What, what Andrew is saying in a brilliant idiot's way is everybody seeks validation from motherfuckers that they shouldn't be seeking no, right. validation no, from. It. I'm not investing in the opinions of others. Yo. If my wife tells me every day I'm handsome and I tell her every day she's beautiful, why do you need... Can you imagine no, that? They, it's they not, need it, bro. But it's that's why they wild. get fake tits. Think about this. I've been thinking about fake tits and how absurd they are, right? Think about the fake titty, right? The fake titty looks great in a shirt. It looks great in a bikini. It looks great to all those other people out there that are looking at the girl. It doesn't feel that good. Matter yeah. of fact, it feels weird. You know, so my phony. point is, so my point is, you care more about being desired by strangers when you're getting fake tits than the one person who that's going to see a fuck and about you. your tits. And, and, you know, and the person cares who about you. actually gives a fuck about you. No, I am not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying I can understand in what, a way. What is that to understand? Oh, but like, it's, it's nice though to hear someone's calling you handsome though, right? I don't give a shit. I like my Show me. I don't. I swear. Are you I, right I swear now? that shit don't how mean nothing. How much do you need as a woman? Mean like, it does Aisha, nothing for me. How much do you need? You literally got everything, and you're like, but he didn't say that I'm pretty. <laughs> this guy that I don't even As know. I feel like blowing it out of proportion. I First of all, like... no one's saying you're pretty because they're 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 treating Steph with respect. You live in San Francisco, or you live in Oakland, wherever the fuck they you live. They know you married. They go hit on Steph's wife during a playoff run. You out your mind? That's disrespectful. Are you out of your mind? Yo, Aisha, you look. Bad today, mom. I know that Steph's wife. I know that Steph's wife. I'm not that's about to crazy. disrespect Steph. You're right. And you know what? Now you but open the door. Now you open the door, and you're gonna have a lot of foul dudes mm -hmm. sliding in your DMs. And if I'm from Houston and I got any money and I got some swag and I want my Rockets to beat the Warriors, I'm sliding in with dick picks. And that's what she. <laughs> but <laughs> dick and, picks. And I think I get you. What you said earlier. Dark though. ass dick, what not that said, beige stop. shit that Steph got. <laughs> I'm talking about some mean chocolate. My thing is what you said earlier though about the Instagram, or whatever, because she probably. If you think about it, how Steph Curry and Aisha are, and you think about maybe another couple who is like kind of idealistic, like uh, Ooh, name them, like Kylie. I'm just gonna put Kylie and Travis, right? Yeah. The, I mean, both of them are famous, but regardless, they're like known as like the it couple in a way because Kylie and Travis have hung out four times their entire relationship. Travis, <laughs> let me tell you something. Travis Scott is nowhere near as famous as Kylie Jenner. True story. You don't True. think so? Hundred percent. What? <laughs> not when I'm saying he's so famous though. He's, but he's nowhere not. near. Let me tell you something. You don't think because he's, he's with her now. Like, you you put him in a group of no? uh, rappers okay. from ASAP, and nobody will be able to pick him out. Listen, I was in Connecticut. That's not true. Guaranteed. I'm, oh, I was in Connecticut. I'm a, nobody fan, will be able so to put maybe, him out. I'm biased. I'm 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 I was in biased. Connecticut. Travis Scott show. This my my daughter had a cheerleading competition. Travis Scott show was sold out. I'm in the hotel of this. I'm in the lobby of this hotel. I get on the elevator. This white woman says, "I just saw Kylie Jenner's." Boyfriend. Oh yeah. <laughs> Never Kylie said Jenner's Jenner's boyfriend. I saw Travis Scott. Oh. I saw Kylie Jenner's boyfriend. Yeah. Do you think Travis gives a fuck if anybody thinks he's handsome? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's but got a woman that's worth a billion dollars. He okay. won. But you're also talking about he's the a difference talented between Stedman. male and female too, though. Like if y'all another great example. Stedman. You think Stedman cares that Oprah gets all the shine? Um. You don't play your position that long in life happily. Karen, that's you, somebody else is getting more shine than you. You know why Oprah gets all the shine? Because she's more famous than Stedman. Didn't Jay Z say know your position in the ecosystem? But hold on, I have a question. Because y'all have y'all insecurities too, though. Who Jay said we don't? You want to know what our insecurity is? Our girl wants to get fucked by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and Aisha out there. Why you think Steph can't Word shoot the last few games? Word Word why the Word fuck you that. think Word Steph can't Word hit a bond. goddamn shot? Word Word he can't dunk a Word basketball because he knows his wife is out there looking for dick. Steph might go 0 for 20 his next game thinking about that shit. Oh, my about God. Who the fuck is in the stands telling oh her she look pretty? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think about that shit. Yo, how do we know Aisha Curry's validation isn't what fuels Steph? Oh. So Steph is out here thinking, damn, I ain't making my woman happy. 
Think about that. Yet another woman ruining a franchise. <laughs> what? Oof. <laughs> Oof. I'm just saying, start with my man Jesus. <laughs> You know what For I mean? real, yo. Shit, it started with uh, what was the girl that ate the apple? But that's a Adam. Saint. Who's that Eve. bitch? Eve. Why do women want to tear down greatness? Really? Why do you want to tear down greatness? I don't, know, I don't know how great. But Adam I feel was. like Adam. Man, Adam ain't really slap, bro. If you go read the Bible, he ain't really do nothing. He, Man, just, he found the pussy. He was just the first. Dude, but there was never a precedent for pussy before that. But he, he saw a pussy, which is a confusing no, looking thing, and put his it, dick no, in it. No, that's not how it worked. How, how it worked? God took the rib from Adam to create woman. Damn, that's what you called your dick back you know, in this, the day. This, that this, was this, is really this is what it was. This is what it was. God is the executive producer. Okay. Right? Yeah, so yeah. he creates this show, this yeah. reality show called The Universe. Okay. Right? Yeah, so yeah. he creates this thing. It's Earth. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. He creates one thing. And he's watching this shit. He's like... Bro, this shit kind of boring, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We like, need to spice it up. We need to spice it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let yeah. me let me figure something out. Then yeah. he designed Eve from Adam. Then yeah. he was like, man, this shit boring just watching him have sex all day. Mm. <laughs> let, me out, spice it up again. let me take out another rib so Adam can suck his own dick. No, let me present a snake, you know what I'm saying, to tell Eve, hey, I know Adam tells you you're pretty every day, all right? But Ooh. you need to be getting told you're pretty from somebody else. Ooh. And you know, if you go eat the f- apple off that tree, other guys will tell you that you're beautiful oh. all day long. Oh, Aisha. So Eve went and ate the apple, you know what I'm saying? And realized, <laughs> shit, ain't nobody else here. Nobody. <laughs> you just got <laughs> played. You, you played got yourself. Play. Y'all do the yo, same Steph thing. Yo, Steph better go to the strip club, though. yo. Y'all know that, right? First, don't what? put this on us. We talking about say? you. See? What did you say? I'm just saying. But first of all, first of all. Aisha, look, I'm just saying from a woman's point of view. We yeah. always want to feel sexy and everything. I was like, how do y'all know for sure that uh-huh. Steph's not doing that for her? He's not. Okay, but that's. How do you know? I don't. That's exactly. what I'm just saying. He's still got gap in his I'm, teeth. I'm, I'm, the, I'm not dealing <laughs> with. If Steph fixes his teeth, he's cheating. Yeah, I'm not dealing with these hypotheticals. If he fixes his teeth, well, he's look, cheating. But his I'm teeth saying, are not fixed because he loves his woman. As woman is supposed to love him, he keeps her pregnant. But look, this is why I'm saying like I kind of understand just because I have friends that are they have babies, whatever, right? So when they're a mom, that's all they kind of are. I feel like she probably feels like I don't know. I just I kind of understand. Yo, that's what she's not enough being a, a mom, bit. yo. It's not you not have a popping it. Instagram account. It. That's I, not enough to no, be a mom. No, no, no. The, the moral of the story is selling shows, fucking fit tea and fashion exactly over. What, you mean. what do y'all want? Look, what will make you happy? Look, what will make you women happy? I think I it's ridiculous. The moral, the moral, listen, the, but that's what happens with like. If the, Steph Curry don't make you happy, nothing gonna make listen, you happy. The moral of the story is this for men and women. When you depend on people to build you up, they'll have the same power to break you down. No, you're right. That's what I was gonna say. The moral story. There's a moral story. Don't make your girl famous. That's the moral story. The second you make your girl famous, she leaving your ass. Okay, I learned this shit. No, with, that's not that's true. Not true. I learned this shit with. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Okay, not true. we'll see. They get we'll famous see. though. Let me you just let me, y'all t- y'all sit in a successful relationship, you and your wife, and nobody knows who the, your wife is. I'm saying there is something to it. The second you make your wife famous, look at what uh, Hugh Hefner did. He made all those bitches famous on that fucking show, and you still every single girls one of bitches in 2019. I'm calling all these bitches bitches, man. Jesus 50 Christ. Cent is my goat, bro. I'm doing whatever Andrew, 50 you does. Do that while 50. I'm on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't don't let them remind you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 